behind me is a couples travel trailer that's great for full-time living in and extremely easy to tow with a half-ton towable vehicle. This is a 2024 Coachman Spirit Model 2764RE. We're going to be taking a look at all the features and we're starting in 3, 2, 1. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video today. I am super excited that we are taking a look at this awesome Coachman Spirit with opposing slide outs. An amazing floor plan, perfect for couples. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going? It's going good. I can't take I can't wait to take a look at this. This really is an awesome floor plan for something at a good price point and like Matt said, really light. So I can't wait to show you guys. I'm excited too, Will. You ready? Yep. Let's begin. Model is 2764RE. The actual tip, tip length of the travel trailer is 32 feet 10 inches. The dry weight is 6,687 pounds and the hitch weight is 750 pounds. We got 50 gallons of fresh water, 35 gallons of gray water, and 35 gallons of black water. Well, this is the Coachman Spirit. What a good looking travel trailer. It is. Right in front here, we do got the Lipper Power Tongue Jack. Propane tanks here and your batteries go right there. Okay. Right here. You can see that we got a painted fiberglass front cap with the LED light strips there. Nice. And you got your diamond plate rock guard there. Coming on down. A little bit of storage. Okay. There you go. This is the Coachman Spirit. So what's behind the fiberglass, it's fiberglass sides. What's behind it is Asdell. Asdell's a composite and it won't delaminate on you. And it is aluminum framing. Okay. Coming on down here, we do have a very nice power awning with LED lights. Right here, we got cable and power hook up for the outside. Nice. If you do want to have a TV. And then right there's the Lippard solid steps right there. Cool. Coming on down, we do have a nice big grab handle. And as it shows there on that sticker, 200 watts of renewable solar. Uh, on this unit standard very nice right here we do have an outside kitchen uh well we're so close to this one we'll show the outside kitchen over there okay that's what the outside kitchen looks like and then right here we do have a little leash holder for you to leash up your furry friend there you go coming around the back sir william we do have a nice bump for the stinky slinky no ladder to get up on the roof. It is uh, the cross-flex roof. And right there, well, it is prepped for the Furion backup camera there. It's prepped for the Lippert ladder as well. Lippert ladder was? Yeah. Man, I couldn't even see it. It was like right above my yeah. head. Yeah. You know, I have a hard time focusing. Coming on down here, we do have a 50 amp hookup. Cable hookup right there. Right here's where your black tank flush is. City water connection. And a water heater right there. Don't forget the tires. You missed it on the other side. Yeah, I missed it because I got all this stuff going on right now. And then right here, here's where it is you uh, dump your tanks. Okay. And then look at these tires, Will. They're Tamarax. I love those. ST205-75R14. There you go. Right over here, Will. We have our potable water fill. Potable, potable. And then over here's the other side of the storage. And the little griddle, that's cool. Very nice. Well, well, the outside of this unit looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Okay. I'm not skipping today, neither. <laughs> Check out the inside. All right, we'll start up front. Did you bust your head? Yeah, it's kind of low. Nice bedroom up front here. Right next to that is the split bath in the middle. Next, right behind that is this kitchen. And then all the way in the back is the living area and dining area. Where do you want to start today? Uh, we're going to start back here. Guys, I'm not gonna do a commercial because I'm in a bad mood. Okay. I don't wanna do that to the people, Will. Okay. 
Show us what's going on on the inside. Kitchen or? Yes, living room. Oh, I'm, living room. I'm done for the day. My feng shui is not good. Okay. And I'm sorry, America. But guess what, Will? What? The show goes on. That's right. Um, I actually really like this setup. So over here, you have a dinette. It's a regular dinette. I'm not going to lie. I wish this wasn't here, though. I think it would be cooler to have two, uh, like a theater seat and a trifold or I something concur. like that. Yep. But with that said, it is a nice big dinette. There's pretty good room in here. I love the big window here to let in natural light. Um, you have the big window here and then the little one there that opens. This does drop down to make a bed and there's storage underneath. Yes, there is. On both sides. There's something else right underneath that's Power what? or no, oh, there is power there, which is very nice. And then a dog food nice. water bowl. And can I clarify something, Will? What? I'm not mad at the grass cutting people. Right. Oh, no, what no, time no. is it? It is 10.30. Yeah, we got here at 9 o'clock. Right. And we have to leave at noon. And we got to get four videos done. That's why I'm aggravated. Because nothing's going our way. So I'm not... Right. I can't tell you how much I appreciate those people out there. It's just... Not it's a good day for me. Days. It's one of those days. But hey, guess what? What? First world problems, That's you know? That's right. Continue on, sir. Storage there as well. And then back here, nice TV, nice Jensen TV. It's a really big one. Hey, what? I just can't hold back my emotions right now. <laughs> right. That's all. It's me, not you. <laughs> um, I do love these windows. Like they're really tall windows, let in so much natural light. Accordion style, shiny tier. A little bit of countertop space. If you wanted to decorate a little bit, storage there. Jensen sound system. Very nice. More storage. And then I love this fireplace that does produce heat from electricity. Very nice. Pretty much the same thing over here. Window, storage, countertop space right there. Very good. And then right over here, very nice uh, tri uh, sorry, theater seating. What I will say is this is definitely like a narrow theater seat. And I don't get it because there was extra room. And tons of extra room over there. Right, that doesn't make much sense it's to like me. It's really kind of tight sitting in here. And it doesn't look comfortable. Not super comfortable, to be honest, yeah. You do have two cup holders, little remote holder there. This would be a perfect spot to do the, like, two theater seats and then the half in the middle. Right, I don't know why they didn't do that there. Yeah. And then over here, Sir William, uh, I am sitting at the stool bench, you know what I'm saying, yep. to be a part of the kitchen. Really, really nice. You know, I, to Will's point, I much rather. Especially with that. Oh, yeah. Get rid of that. Desk area or especially another sofa area. Yep. And then you would have had this as well. And continue on with the rest of the kitchen. Okay. I do like sitting on the stools, so. though. I love those stools, yeah. Over here, I will say for how small this travel trailer is, this kitchen is actually pretty kick butt. Tons of storage up top here. Little high point microwave here, storage there as well. Yes, sir. Magic magic chef range hood right there. You got your blinds and a really big window that does open up on your non-camping side. Not solid service countertops, of course. They're trying to keep that weight and price down. You got some storage drawers here and there. And then you got this as well. It only opens from the one side, right? No, no, there was another thing. Was there? Well, yeah, no, that side only opens okay. from the one side. But there was more storage over here. Okay, cool. And then your breakers and fuses right there. Three burner Magic Chef. Yeah, Magic Chef cooktop. Magic Chef. With the lights and oven underneath. Little storage cubby right there as well. And then back up top, you got storage up here. Great spot for your inserts so mm. they don't get in your way. But these are those little inserts to cover the sink if you want extra uh, cutting board space. And then nice, pretty good size sink, dual bowl sink, no extension faucet, just a standard faucet. You got cabinet space there underneath. And then you got this. America John Cena! That's right. That will always make me feel better. All right. Huge pantry here. I love that. And then a Furion refrigerator and freezer here. This is compressor fridge, so just off the battery jump box in like five minutes, it's already nice and cold. Finishing up, 
a little more storage underneath. Would have been nice and colder if it was actually plugged in. I know, would have. There you go. Part of my problems. Part of my part of my daily problems. Yep. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. Just like that. A little bit of John Cena does make me right. feel a little bit better in the day. MSRP on this unit here is $55,926. Will, that is MSRP. Yep. Recipe. Discount, Miss Jen. Bing! Please put the sale price of this unit right here so everybody can see who's watching on television. And Will, I don't care what sale price that is. I know we can get everybody an even better sale price than that. All you guys have to do is go to generalrv.com slash matscash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from matsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to me, Will. Us. Me. Not me. <laughs> us. Us. Okay. And a member of our team will reach back out to you guys. And they will get you one thing and one thing only, and that is... The best price in America. Burr, burr, burr. Will, go stand in that shower. Okay. Speaking of, I didn't shower yesterday. Maybe that's why I'm in a bad mood. This is a very big step up. But. Damn, that's a huge step up. It is, but surprisingly, I guess the skylight is just right. Yep. There's like that much headspace. Really good width and depth. It's definitely passes. Bing! That's shower test seal sure of approval. Is. Sit on this toilet, Will. Yeah. That's not a prime poop position. It is not. First off, it's plastic. Yes. Second off, it's too tight right here anyways and right here. So this does not pass. Womp womp. Continuing on, you have good closet space here in this bathroom. Yep. Right there. Very nice. And then more space up here. And liquefied. Oh, what's that, Will? Liquefied is our brand of RV toilet chemical. And uh, you can pick It's not chemical, Will. Toilet treatment. Yes. I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, you guys can pick up a bottle by going to Amazon.com, Walmart.com, or now liquefiedrv.com. Yep. And we also we, got some new stuff here. We do. Sensor cleaner. We got powder if you like Happy Camper. And we toilet got, bowl cleaner. Mm, I love it. I do too. Keep on going, Will. Okay. Little sink right here, but decent countertop space with power, storage underneath, and a couple little shelves right there. Perfect. Wrapping on up into the bedroom area, we do have a nice pocket sliding door. Yep. This is interesting. I know, I saw that. Like a little desk. Yeah. You can put your little bar stool up here, get mm -hmm. ready for the day. Get ready with me as a full-time content creator. There you go. Storage there. Storage all around. Remember yesterday you, you quoted Mambo number five and you didn't even know yep. it? Right there we got storage. Show that side, sir. Okay. Storage right there. Closet space right there. And then you do have power, USB, and USB-C here. And I know I saw it on the other side as well. I got plenty of space here. There also is two eight air conditioning units, which is nice. Very nice. See that and right there. Let's see if there's storage underneath I the bed. I think it's better than that. Oh, snap. So we're camping right now, Will. Yep. And I got changed to the living room in my travel trailer. Okay. I could have gotten changed in mm -hmm. here, you know? Got some storage there. Storage there. A little bit of cubbies. Okay. And again, this is nice because literally, I can put my clothes on, get ready for the day, in the privacy of my bedroom. I don't right. need to walk out into the living room area. Very nice, Will. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time to give you three things that we're loving about this unit and three things that we just don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? You want to do like since we're in here first? Sure. Okay. Like number one has to be this bed. Yeah. Fan freaking fantastic. Again, I just touched on it, but the fact that you can raise it up and lower it to mm -hmm. get dressed in here is very, very nice. But honestly, like I could have got this is a very. That's what I was just about anyway. to say. Even aside from that, 
like there's more space at the foot of the bed than like most travel trailers exactly. so i love that love that feature that's number one well what's like number two like number two for me i kind of hit on it earlier but for, again for this size of travel trailer to have this much countertop space all that over there really good size fridge and pantry I mean, there's just tons of storage in here. I love this kitchen, actually. That's number two. It's awesome. And then, well, number three for me has to be the height. Yeah. For I'm you. That, for me, too. Especially in that shower. Yeah. You know, with that big step up. You know, a lot of times, travel trailers like this, they don't have this type of height, this yeah. type of radius roof. So to get all that in a unit like this is really, really good. Especially it when its goal is to be lightweight, you know? Yep, yep. Well, that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. Would you like to go first for me? I don't care. You can. I can give on. you all three. Can you? I I'm have in one. A bad move. Okay. I can just knock them out. Okay. You be like, you this and you did that. Cause can I just do that? Sure. Dislike number one. No awning on the slide out. Okay. Dislike number two. No prime TV viewing position. Yeah. Sofa here. Turning your head sideways. Dinette here, turning your head sideways. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And if you did get another sofa there, you don't, still, you, you don't have this. a head on luck. Yep. And then this slide number three, give me a sofa that freaking right. fits. Right. Why are you making a slide out like that if the sofa doesn't fit? I mean, if nothing else, like if you're going to use that small sofa, at least put side tables in. I felt good. Okay. I felt like I was in a rage room. You know All what right. I'm saying? Did you have another dislike to add on to, or was those your dislikes? Mine was the bathroom. Talk to, talk to me then. For having... I hey, you know what? <laughs> hey, Jen, show that evil little girl meme. Right. Four dislikes today. I Not everybody likes this. I personally kind of like the split bathroom because it gives you a bigger bathroom, typically. But, like, getting in here was very tight. The toilet wasn't good. You really didn't have a lot of sink space. And I think a lot of it is due to that... Um, Get ready with me, station. Yeah, and okay. there's really not even that much room in there either. There you go. Get rid of that. Give a bigger shower, a little more toilet room. It'd be a lot better in here, I think. Bada bing, bada boom. Well, we made it. That's yep. it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in buying this unit or any RV, please go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvrvs.com or call. 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us and a member of our team will reach out to you guys and they will get you one thing and one thing only and that is the best price in America. Will, what say you? That's right, guys. Make sure to um, also leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like and three things you dislike about this floor plan. Make sure to also smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely yes, everybody you. so much for watching and Will, we'll see you next time.